afternoon, good morning, good evening, sim fans, race fans, RC fans, Racing 393. And as promised, I've got another car to take round um, the Hockenheim ring. If you remember on my previous uh, video, I was it was a ASR uh, iteration of a generic Formula One car, the ASR H2020 which is a hybrid uh, V6. I thought to myself, <clears throat> another uh, group of people who are very, very good at producing content is Race Sim Studio, quite a small team. And they also specialize in many different aspects of uh, motorsport uh, in, the sim, in the sim world anyway. And they also do mods for Assetto Corsa. And as you can see here, I should have wrote it down because I was actually looking uh, for a car for a like for like. But this is an RS Race Sim Studio version 2 uh, 2020. It's a V6 hybrid. It's got very similar output um, power wise, which we'll have a look in a minute. And we're going to take this car for a little spin, not literally, I hope, but around the Hockenheim uh, circuit. And we're going to compare how it feels, how it drives, uh, and, and, and sort of compare it to what the, uh, the ASR 2020 version. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you that the main difference, you see my mouse there, is they seem to have the larger wheels on this one. I'm not sure whether these are... I, I don't know what size they are. Is it 15? No, not 15, because they were 13, weren't they, before? 18-inch um, wheels? They look bigger uh, in this graphical representation here anyway, so it looks a little bit more in kind to what... Again, it's not... <sighs> definitely doesn't look like the new Formula 1 cars of 2022 and it definitely doesn't look like the F1 cars of uh, 2021 it is more that crossover between it's more F1 than IndyCar I must admit it's the other car the ASR car had fairings on here so it had a different aero package completely so the good thing is these ain't any official open wheel cars anyway they're just a generic design by the various um, developers so we're going to hop into this car in game uh, we'll have a look at the uh, power criteria and see if we can sort of dissect what we think it will go like um, incidentally the when i go out there both both cars are genuinely well both these cars are stock settings um, I will have to check tire compound because I do try to run them on soft um, if it isn't already on there so um, let's uh, let's hop in well not literally hop in but let's go on to the uh, game Assetto Corsa and have oh, a, a game a in the, look the showroom part of the game and straight away it does look a much more polished graphic of the car than what the ASR uh, variant was and they're not the same they're not the same cars but they've got very similar specifications uh, again there's nothing official so they've still got this um, Formula Forza. Now they also, they come in various different compounds. This is in what would I assume it would be soft. I will have to check that. Um, Race Sim Studio clearly on there, and I think some of these again. If you zoom in on some of these, yeah, there's nothing official. I mean, they've got this, their own sponsor on there. 
and these un I've I've no idea what these are or who that is it looks okay I can see the graphic of the car does look uh, really good it's got the you know the DRS bit probably a little bit more modern looking um, we've got the single exhaust coming out the back of the car there I don't know whether this is a Formula 2 car it's very very difficult to make out if it is a Formula 2 car I think it is. RSS2 F2 Well having a look at the spec It's got all the attributes of being an F2 car like that's where the exhaust is on an F2 car It does have this sort of mesh it's not an open exhaust and the Formula One car well I'm not saying it wasn't but the, the the previous ASR formula had the exhaust coming out of here but more a kind to where the F1 car is but it's got the same similar BHP so unless the other car is more kind to F2 and I hadn't realised. Again, this is the difficulty with not running anything official. It, all, it does look the same. So we'll give it a go. So it's got, again, like I said before, I'll finish off. It's got some nice graphical representation of the car. I like quite like the, the way they've done that detailing here with the sort of the air scoops. And you can actually see inside the side pods for the uh, the way the radiators are sort of facing. That's quite good detail. Well, oh, excuse me. The bottom of the floor is a little bit resembling kind of what the the current new regulation F1 cars are trying to achieve. There's a few air deflectors it's got less on it on this one so the wings the front wing anyway is um, quite a simple design yet it looks mightily effective if I'm honest with you and the back you zoomed round to the back of the car I'll try and zoom in where we can see it yeah the DRS is a little bit more hidden more aerodynamic but definitely that exhaust and is is a more um, Formula 2 esque but it's going to be interesting to see um, which or how much quicker or slower this car is I think my lap time we'll have a look in a minute my lap time was a 124 if I remember rightly um, but anyway let's have a look on the track we'll get in we'll do a few laps and we'll, well, we'll we see how we go yet so I'm going to show you sort of the power curve now the other one was flat lining was it it had nothing this comes in with a bang I mean this is going to be completely different to drive um, 600 brake holes 320 Ks similar a bit heavier so I keep trying to stop myself from yawning bloody hell 750 Ks the other one definitely weren't that heavy this is more um, is it 5 something And it had 400, if I remember rightly, 400 newton meters of torque. 
And it was an Italian model. I'm not sure they are. These seem to be Spanish. I don't think that's nothing to do with the driver. Um, yeah, so it's got about a similar brake. This has got more uh, torque. It weighs more, so it's probably not the same car. Similar speed and, and sort of looks as 100 time. One thing about recording is I've noticed I keep yawning or I go to yawn. Um, it doesn't matter, I suppose, if I'm not recording, but as soon as I push the record button. Anyway, this is the... <laughs> This is the car we're going to go in. I'm going to check a few things out first. Um, so up here, this is the car before. Because that was the lap time. ISRH. 600 brake horse. Well, that one's got... 620, 630, so it's got more BHP. It's only got 400 Newton meters of torque. Well, that one's got 500, but that weighs 750. What did this all weigh? Let's have a look. That's well, not that bad, actually. It is genuinely a faster car. That's only 600, I thought it was 500, but 690. And in that car there, we did a 124.4 around Hockenheim. I've got the same conditions. I won't put real because it'll put it to night time. The track is in its green state. Uh, similar temperature to what, what not the, the same temperature. Um, if I'm not yawning, I'm burping. We'll cut that bit out. Right. Let me get in the car. Uh, the car do a few now, finally. Now I've had a quick go of it. It's definitely Formula Two. Uh, it isn't particularly very Formula One-ish. Doesn't sound like a Formula One car. Um, from my gatherings and what I've got, it doesn't go like a Formula One car. So we're in uh, we're in the cockpit mode again. Uh, it's also because the resolutions, the textures on the car itself seem higher than ASR, the frame rate ain't as good. So we're on soft tyres. Uh, I seem to think that maybe the other one wasn't. I, I should have looked. These small details, I never really take a lot of notice of. But I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference for a, a like for like because they're completely different vehicles. I've changed the brake bias to 52%. Um, so let's take it out. And see how we go. Your exit's clear. Watch the white line. We've got cold tyres. We need to get some heat into them. So it sounds very hybrid. Anyway. We've got DRS. So we'll do a couple of laps. It doesn't feel nowhere near as quick. Apart from there. You can see the, the frame rate ain't that stable at the moment. No idea why. I 
mean, I don't know. Everything's set as it was graphically. Let's do a couple of laps. Tires are not up to temperature yet. You can tell this has got a lot more instant power. Trying to keep it tidy. Don't know what the lap time is at the moment. Into the stadium. You can hear the regen. That's what I think it is. Trying to get everything, the DRS on the time as well. Lost the back end then. Oh, completely. Come on, hurry up. So let's give it another lap. 134.31. That puts you 2.3 seconds. Trying to keep it smooth. It doesn't have the uh, the oomph Second like the other car. Okay. Doesn't sound to have, you know, seem to have a lot of torque. Even though the line says it, it's got a lot more than the other car. There's nowhere near as much grip either. Back end went then. About five seconds a lap slower. Let's give it a go your lap again. Your time was at 132.81. You're now 1.7 off your best. Sector 1 is 0.6. Slower than your best. You're a second off your best in Sector 2. Sector 3 is a tenth off your best. <laughs> So we're trying to make up a lot of time here. I don't think it's going to happen. Too wide. I'm just trying to keep the wheels straight as possible. Sector 2 is 1.1. Off your best. Six. That's your fastest lap. Sectors one and three are fast. Sector two is one well, seconds off your best. Go and have a look at the lap. Tires are definitely torn up. Um, so that's a good uh, graphical representation. Tire, the tire gauge. That the the, uh, the right hand. Well, as you look at it, as I look at the cockpit, the right hand side tire inside front. I say inside front, but the right hand side front tyre blue, the rest all the other tyres are green so yeah that's uh, interesting we're just starting the lap I've slowed it down again DRS open 
first right hander. Should have no problems here. Not to use too much of that curve. Back on the DRS. I mean, it's a good five seconds off of maybe more than the other car. So it should make a nice, neat apex here. Car does feel uh, you could drive it to the limit, but it doesn't stay at the limit. You can feel the grip go away from you, which is where sim racing needs, needs to excel regarding the tyre model. This is a version 10, I think. And I know a set of course, so you can change various uh, models of tyre. I get that. But um, with a Seto Corsa, at least you can feel the tyre gripping or not gripping. This is a very tight hairpin, this one. Glowing brake disc, front and rear. Another nice graphical uh, inclusion. We went a bit wide there on the exit. So I had to, be, I've lost, a, I probably could have got 129, I reckon. There's probably a 128, a high 128s in this car. For me, anyway. That's a flat out left hander. So another awkward left hand corner here. Sort of a funny apex on this one. I missed it on the uh, the other car, the ASR car. That was a bit of a neater line. But it does feel... It just loads up right on the steering wheel and the suspension. And you can kind of feel when the light, the lightness of the wheel comes in. And you know the grip's going. A good rumble effect as well over the uh, curbs throughout. Nice line through there, just on the white line. Into the uh, stadium now. It's a banked left hand of this part here. Smooth out the next load of corners. If taken correctly, you can gain so much time. I did drop my gear, I found here, because I'm not sure if the car had enough oomph in it. There we go. Did I go wide? Not sure. I don't think I did that time. That was good. A good line. Using the road where I could. Late DRS. So there we go. That was a lap. In what is effectively an F2, to be honest. Let's go and have a look at the, uh, the actual lap time. Sat here in kind of the... Uh, UI. So theoretically, a 129.4, pretty much. And you can see the car there. This 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 particular car. I mean, that does look more F1. This definitely looks more F2. I'm supposed it was supposed to be a video comparing the two, but they're completely two different cars. So it doesn't matter. Just I said it was going to be an F1 car, but it isn't. <laughs> but the difference in the feel is astonishing. Um, Again, both both companies, ASR and uh, RSS. The biggest thing with any sim race game, uh, call it a game or a simulation or wh whatever you want to call it, you must be able to feel uh, the tyres and feel them grip within, you know, the road and the boundaries of the road and your steering input. You can also feel the car load up on downfalls, so it gets a bit heavier. If you attack the corners too much, I could see I did change my bias to 52%, but when I was braking hard, the back at 52% seemed to want to slide out, and you could really feel that. So you modulate the braking a little bit by effectively just coming off the brake so not completely off, but just so it's slightly less and it brings it back in line. Um, I don't want to use the, the expression trail braking because it's a bit cliche, but it, it is what you're doing with the pedal. With, I've got a load cell pedal, so it's a lot easier to do that. Doesn't make you faster. Nothing makes you faster. 
if you're going to be fast, you'll be fast with anything. However, it makes you, some of this direct drive wheel technology and load cell pedals makes you more consistent. That's the difference, which I suppose makes you faster uh, over a sort of a given lap or race distance, whichever that may be. But the difference, the main difference between ASR, uh, less the speed, um, it does uh, represent that uh, the, the F1 car, this one here, the ASR H2020, definitely had more grip. Now that graphic says it, I'm not sure, I'm hoping it was on uh, similar tyres, but this is a graphic one. I mean, that's just, I was on the softs. It didn't make any difference. I mean, I could have gone to super soft. It, it would nowhere near have been as quick. But a 124.4, which is pretty much there, five seconds, almost bang on, five seconds slower. Uh, yeah, and I could, you could feel that. If you go back and watch the video, you can see how much quicker the other car looked. You could you won't be able to feel it because you're not driving it, but um, yeah, interesting. Definitely open wheelers by these two companies can sometimes be overlooked. And I'd recommend you go back and have a look at the history of uh, Racing Studio or uh, ASR Formula. And just pick what some of the older iterations of the cars they've got because they've, they've got sales on, they are cheaper. But you're missing a little gem here. If you like your Formula One and you perhaps you're moaning about Codemasters Formula One 2021 and what well, I think that's all right to be honest but uh, maybe you're moaning about how it feels and it's not quite how you you want to try this well, a set of course are really no I mean the set of course and the modern community really know how to get the cars to feel as good as they are you can download some dogs off of some third party website and I don't mean that actual dogs but cars that don't feel like they're part of the track all and I've got a few of them. Um, but you know when you get it right. You don't have to mess around with the, the settings on your wheel or within the game so much. Maybe the, the force, force feedback might need a little bit of a tweak here and there. And But you don't need to fill around with all the settings. I, I jump from car to car. I'm on my formula rim or my, my sort of my PS4. Uh, formula rim that I've got that came with the DD1 and it, it's been absolutely superb so you want to give it a go I mean I, I might try some others uh, if you want me to try some others and I go through it I'm happy to accept some people's uh, suggestions on what cars to take around and what track maybe um, I like to use a, a generic sort of standard track that most cars will run at um, and it's good fun. It's good fun not only learning the track, learning the cars, and just understanding their limits and whether or not you're near the limit. I felt near the limit on this one. On the ASR H1, the previous one, um, it felt easier to drive at the limit. Um, but that's probably is longer by the looks of it. It's longer wheelbase. It's more Formula One stroke IndyCar, as I said. And that one there, as you can see, it's got the larger wheels and it is and sounds and goes more like the F2. So not bad, not bad at all. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll see you soon. Uh, bye for now.